Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another Binding of Isaac of Isaac video. Today we do the Super Mario Maker of Isaac. Something along those lines. Uh, here's the deal. So th this is kind of, I mean, you you're used to this at this point. This is something I've been doing on the channel for a little bit. It's a way to promote uh, new series on the channel is by doing an of Isaac. You know, bring in the Isaac crowd, show them what I got in a different game. Uh, and then kind of lead them to maybe possibly come watch that series. So, uh, this is kind of just an invitation to all of you. Uh, I'll be starting a Mario Maker series on the channel today. Today. Uh, the time that I'm recording this, not today, but I mean, the time where this is going up today. Uh, here's how the Mario making of Isaac is going to work. We're going to be going into the Endless Challenge uh, playing expert. Uh, and we will do three courses. We have 15 lives, uh, as, as kind of stated by the Endless. The number of lives I have at the end of those three courses uh, is the number of li a number of items that I get in Isaac. Uh, pretty straightforward. So for those that don't know what Mario Maker even is, uh, this is a game on the Nintendo Switch where you're able to just make your own Mario courses. And there is kind of a full story mode uh, as well where there's, there's courses made by Nintendo uh, that you can play, but... The fun of the game, okay, reach the goal as Propeller Mario. Uh, and I'm playing as Toad because Toad is lit as heck, dude. Okay, I hate this already. Let's, let's go for it. I'm assuming, okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> give, me the, give me the golf clap, I appreciate it. Yeah, just, just keep on doing this over and over. Confetti flying, okay. Uh, take two. I absolutely am going to have to have hit uh, that Koopa. Yep. Fair enough. Fair enough. You, you gave me you gave me the keys to the kingdom. I understand completely. We're going to lose lives uh, along the way. These these levels are not for the faint of heart. They ain't no super expert. I know. Uh, but they are definitely not easy levels, uh, to say the least. Which is why we may end up with, like, no, no lives at the end of this anyway. Okay, ready? Ready? I'm going. Okay. Dude, if that's not good enough, I don't know what is. That, that should be easy easy money. Easy money. Okay, do we have anything? There's going to be something in the sky. You know this already. I saw something, dude. Oh! It's a little rude. It's a little rude. Okay. We're, we're just going to go. Immediately. Just, just, just keep keep going i think and, and that's going to be the way that we go about doing this but anyway we'll, we'll be playing super expert uh endless in the uh in the new series that we're doing so it will basically be uh my way to take a peek at uh, levels that are made by the community uh and just kind of try them out yo i saw it i saw it okay that's gonna allow us to get way up in the air Okay, beautiful. Okay. No! <laughs> you suck, you little stupid. Uh, but I'll also be trying some levels from you guys as well. Uh, so if it's something that you're interested, if you have Mario Maker and you want me to play one of your levels, uh, then feel free to join the Discord. Uh, link is in the description, as always, of every video. Uh, join the Discord, and there is a place for you to put your Mario Maker levels, uh, and I may play them. We've, we've been playing on stream as well, so there's a decent chance. Okay, so stop, pause, launch, and then we know... Dude... I'm freaking dumb. We knew the guy was not gonna be all the way at the end when you do that. Okay, we're we're losing lives at an alarming rate. Hopefully we're I mean the level is actually this level's pretty good, in my opinion. Uh you, you can get some real friggin' garbage uh when playing endless. I, I have I had one endless on stream that did not go very well, and then I had a couple of endlesses off camera that went incredibly well. Uh, so sometimes you get some fun, sometimes you get some garbage, and that's that's okay. So, boom, dude, it's harder than it looks, and a lot of people have died there. How how many people have actually uh, played 
this level. Dude, it's got 61 plays. That's it. That's actually a lot uh, for something that you get in Endless. Normally, you get, like, uh, where you're the first person to play a level, and it's called uh, Jimmy's Troll Level. Uh, and then, literally, you walk, like, forward one step, and then you die. And you're like, Jimmy, what gives, dude? Um, but that's okay. Th this level's going fine right now. We, we might go into the Isaac run with no items, okay? I just want you to understand that that is a legitimate... Oh, that's very tight. Okay, so go down first. I understand. Okay. Well, now what? Huh? Okay. This is cool. They, they definitely... Oh, dude, look at this. Oh my god, I <laughs> I thought I just fell to my death. Okay, dude In my opinion, that is a very very good level and very fun level uh, I will like that level and I will move on. I'm a very simple man If your level is a blatant troll level, you're getting booed by me uh, And I'm skipping it if your level is ends up in a situation where I don't even understand what's going on. I won't boo it, but I'll skip it for sure. Okay, cool. So I do want, that's rude, honestly. Um, I do want to just say this is hidden blocks. Okay. I do have to say this is the Mario that I <sighs> you know, I, I here's the deal. Normally that's a skip. You soft lock me for no reason, that's a skip. But you gave me an arrow saying what direction to go. So I, I, I can't I can't in my right mind get mad. If the arrow ends up, you know, telling me the wrong direction, automatic skip. And probably a boo as well. But uh I, I can't get mad at this. This is the Mario I grew up playing. Uh, I, I played a lot of Mario as a kid. Uh going a whole realm of different I have a feeling I'm gonna need one of these dude come with me Susie Lee through the park and uh, by the tree Wow no very lucky here's the deal though soft locked again okay I mean I'm gonna be real with you it's not a level I have any interest in playing uh, is getting skipped I I Look, it's not counting towards the three. I still got to beat two levels for Mario making. Two more levels of Mario making of Isaac. Uh, Joy-Con Breaker. Great. I am using a pro controller, but okay. Here we go. Th this is... Okay. You haven't soft-locked me yet, so... I'm not, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get mad yet. And you're giving me, I mean, I'm going to be real, you're giving me, like, a buttload of coins. This is horrible. Okay. I mean, I understand. I'm just a little, oh, oh my god. G thank you. <laughs> All right. Dude, this, this is this is some whack stuff in this level. I'm a big fan though. Okay. You're giving me extra lives, so I mean who am I to get too angry right now? Do not fire a rocket, thank you. I don't I don't know if I can get into that. Okay, go into this. We, we know we need, like, 400... Oh, here we go. We know we need, like, 400,000 key pieces. Um, this is a unique level, though. And I mean that sincerely. Uh, I have no hate towards this right now. I do have hate that this is a horrible, horrible way to snake through a level. I just... Like, I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life, but don't make levels that do this. Um, I'm gonna be a little bit... Upsetty spaghetti. Thank you. Also, do not get soft locked in a hole again. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. I do, I do legitimately need you. Beautiful. Okay. We know this 
damn charade again. Okay. I'm going to need you to open up this hole for me. That guy on top needs to open up holes as well. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah. Okay. I mean, being down our mushroom is... Is real bad. I can fit in there, but I don't feel good about it. Okay. Okay. Snag it. And I'm not talking about the uh, capture editing software. Head down. And we in here. Okay. I I've fallen and I can't get up. Call life alert. Whoa, did anybody just see me Neo that garbage? Also, I never went into this, which I probably should go into. Where the hell am I? Okay, just, just breathe for a second. I think we're on the top of where we were. Okay, now now's the time to get a move on. Okay, yeah, we're we're close to where we were. Yeah, hit that. Thank you. I want to go for it. Okay. Dude, we still have six more keys we need to grab. Okay. We, we know this is horrible. Just go. Oh, I didn't want to go inside of that quite yet. But there's one in the bottom left. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay. That's fair game. Fair game, dude. I'll tell you when a level's unfair. I This level is not unfair. This level is totally fine. Anyway, for those that don't know, uh, here's a little bit of backstory. You, you may be wondering when, when I got a Nintendo Switch. Um, I was very generously gifted a Nintendo Switch by a member of the community. With the caveat of uh, Tyler play Mario and play Smash. So, here I am uh, playing Mario. You know what? Let's do Let's do this crap. What the hell is this? Dude, what is that? I hate it. But, uh, I was told play Mario, play Smash. Uh, oh! <laughs> Dude, I, I think my heart jumped about six feet out of my chest on that one. Uh, that felt good. Felt real good. But, uh, here I am playing, playing Mario. We, we've been playing Smash on stream, uh, and Mario on stream, but... It's been a pretty good time. I do highly recommend. Um, at the time that you were viewing this, I will be streaming most likely tomorrow over on twitch.tv slash Alexa stream. That link is always in the description of every single video. Uh, oh, that is... What am I doing, dude? This is very risky. Okay, we know we're falling to the left. Fall to the left. Beautiful. Don't do this to me more. We're at the end. Dude, just go. Get out of here. I don't know what you need the key pieces for. But it's not to win the run. <laughs> so. I do actually like this level. Which I hate that I'm liking it. I also have the world record for it now. Um, I hate that I like that level. But I actually do like that level. Uh, and we got 12 lives. This is going really well right now. Uh, we've gotten lucky with some levels. I mean, we also got some uh, an absolutely terrible one. I'm not going to deny that. Uh, but so far, zero ill will. Toward, okay, we know. Yeah, I see you. I mean, what do you do in this scenario, huh? That's the second massive lava Yoshi I've seen today. Okay, I got a hint. Okay. Eh, I mean, this sucks. This level blows, dude. This level is absolutely terrible. I mean, it, it is so bad, I'd go so far as to call it just absolutely horrendous. Um, this is horrible. Okay. I don't know how this works. This, this is actually like infinite one-ups. Okay, I mean, look, you make it work, right? Say goodbye to him. I have a feeling I have to kill you. Oh, now go up the pipe, stupid. 
That I understand. Okay. Level still sucks. Let's let's just keep that wide out in the open. Can't go over that. Okay. Big Lava Yoshi still, uh, still, still, still chilling. So, if you were making a Mario Maker level, and you give a man a hammer, what do you expect him to do with the hammer? Can you go through here? No. Okay. Lava Yoshi, you just chill, my dude. Chill. Okay, I would keep going up through the pipe. And keep trying to break things. Oh! It's a key. I mean, that's that's a terrible key. Let's just call a spade a spade. It's a, it's a horrendous, horrible key. Just hide. Oh my god. Do you see how many Goombas drop down on that? Okay, I'm Cat Mario now. It, this, this level of this... Uh, this version of Mario, I have very little experience in. So I, I genuinely kind of have no idea what's going on. I don't know what to do with this either. Okay. You think I can fit under that crouch? No, there's no way in hell. Oh, just reset. And then maybe the cat comes back. This level's real bad, dude. See, like, this is one... I could probably consider booing this level. Like, it's bad. It's not horrendous, though. It's just bad. But, like... Am I mad at you for making... An absolute farm of Goombas? <laughs> no. I'm not mad at the Goomba farm. I am mad at the just... I'm mad at this, really. Like that's that's a key one that I'm mad. No pun intended. Uh, one that I'm mad at. Just go. So you gotta do something with Cat Mario. What is it you do with Cat Mario? That's something that is yet to be determined. Apparently, losing it is uh, one thing you can do with it. The big flaming Yoshi is not a requirement. Okay, you know what? I I see the path. I understand. We're Flaming Yoshi. Okay. Boom. Boom. Uh, it's, it's questionable. It's questionable. But let's... Let's go for broke. Okay. You know what? I'm dumb. On the bright side... You never are not having lives coming out of a level like this. <laughs> there are lives for days on this level. Okay. Key is ours. Lava Yoshi's going the other direction. We don't even gotta worry about him. And we chill. We can grab Cat Mario. Is not a requirement for our success, I don't think. If it actually is. Beats the heck out of me. I mean, let's... Already botched that up. There's a massive bolt bill and the, with the cat ears on. Like, you can't get through there as the cat, I don't think. I... I mean, I just got a key again, and there's a door, so like, I'm gonna go through there, but once again, it's a terrible key. I uh, just... just... Her <gasps> Just horrendous key. Terrible. Dude, I can't help but feel like I found two dev shortcuts <laughs> in the two two videos today. Uh, that level blows. You get a boo, my friend. You get a boo. But anyway, not bad, dude. Not bad. Uh, we finished our three levels. We got 12 lives still, uh, which is kind of insane. Uh, we're going to hop into the Binding of Isaac, and we're going to do a combo of 12 random items to get ourselves a run and then hop into there. If you were interested in seeing more Mario Maker, come back on the channel later today in approximately two hours, and you'll be able to see some Mario Maker content we'll be doing on the channel, doing basically this exact same thing with my exact same commentary. I'll catch you guys in the Isaac run.
Okay, here we are in Isaac. Oh, that's right. It's the Binding of Mario. Afterbirth Plus. What a time to be alive. Now, you already know we're playing as Toad. It's only fair that we do, correct? Uh, it's only fair that we do. This is the Binding of Mario Starbirth uh, mod. I'm starting with a, a mushroom that maybe gave me a tears up. I don't really know, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know much at all here. We're going to give ourselves 12 random items, though, because that's how we do uh brittle bones it looks like <laughs> i've got friggin uh toadsworth walking around right now we got hamalacria uh what looks like sad onion a couple of other you know standard isaac uh items here interesting stuff uh brittle bones is definitely oh hello uh brittle bones is definitely a interesting one uh knowing uh, yoshi eggs are poop that's great and bomb bombs Yep, understood. Is that a tinted rock? I would I would assume that that is indeed a tinted rock. Uh, we're following normal of Isaac rules, meaning that we uh, we can take either two item room items or one boss item uh, on the run. Um, if we find a item room item that looks good or an item room item that just looks uh, funny, you know, saying is it's going to be all Mario themed. Uh, then we'll take it, and I, I have no I have no problems with that at all. Uh, little mini thwomps are the worst thing I've ever seen in the world, dude. Some of this stuff, I mean, I don't I don't know what this guy necessarily is, but this mod's really cute. We had played it uh, in the past as well, uh, and it was a lot of fun. And it appears that it's been uh, updated a little bit with some more new stuff. Toad's shop right now. Dude, and it's 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 full on the the jelly beans from uh oh god, what the hell was the name of uh that game? It was the early early Mario. Um Oh my god, dude, it's actually a thwomp. It's Monstro. Okay, I understand. It looks so good though, dude, and the music is so good as well. Uh the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga is the name that I'm looking for. Uh the drip down is a pipe is so good. Okay, let, let's find our secret room. We have a lot of bombs. Uh, let's let's find our secret room slash rooms. Uh, probably one not there. Okay, a little weird for sure. It's not going to be up here because I can't, I can't get in there. So probably here. What the heck, dude? It might be on the far end next to the item room then. Uh, that makes logical sense. Or it was below in that room. How about right here? Yeah, okay, so there's that. Creepy room, to say the least, uh, but but good good on me. This is likely our super secret. Fantastic. Um, I Because we're early on in the run, I, I will save my bombs here to make sure that we... Uh, wait, we all know what room this is. I don't need the... I don't need to joke around and be like, Ooh, is the chest actually a stone chest? Of course it's a damn stone chest. You know, some things, some things in Isaac don't change, my dude, even when you add mods. So pretty crappy room in general here. But uh, this should be a devil deal, 100%. I don't know. Dude, Cursed Eye is actually insanely good with this uh, with this setup. Cursed Eye uh, Hamalacria is a fine, fine upgrade. I don't know what this is. An Incubus is actually not that good um, on this run here. Although it is okay. I'll take it. Because of Hamalacria, I mean, we're going to end up with just kind of chaos everywhere. I'm not going to take whatever that is because I feel like it's going to replace my active item. And I don't really want it to. But yeah, I mean, this run's looking really good in its current state. Uh, if I can buy a... Yeah, I don't... I mean, the the this... I have a feeling it's a pill. It could not be, but I think it is. The only chance that we really have is if there was a battery charge in there to get... I just took Magic 8-Ball, which I did not want to do. I did it by accident. Uh, oh, well, man. I guess that's going to be our boss item for the run. I could remove it. Um, people will get mad at me either way. So it's, it's kind of whatever. I'll, I'll just stick with it. As is. So the battery charge is sick here, uh, obviously. We also, we, we kind of want to lose the bone hearts because we know we have uh, brittle bones. And we're going to get some massive tears ups if I, uh, if I remove the, remove them. So let, let's do that. It's a Yara rune, dude. Okay. Then let's do that. 
It did just give us full bone hearts. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what to do about that right now. Uh, obviously useful. Dude, the Koopa heads were actually really disturbing. And the animated coins look really, really good as well. It's a cute mod, okay? And it's, it's thematically fitting uh, with what we what we did with the whole Mario making thing. So I am, uh, I am content with this. Absolutely content with this. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Mario Maker. I, I genuinely, for the longest time, uh, and I'm not going to start busting into a Billy Joel song. Just kidding. Whoa. For the longest time. Okay. And we're all good now. But uh, for the longest time, I... A Switch was one of those things... Oh my god, that's a troll bomb. Uh, a Switch was one of those things where I was like... I mean, yeah, it'd be cool to have a Switch. But it wasn't something that I was like... I think that it will benefit me a lot if I had a Switch. Uh, and at this stage that I'm at in my life, I can't just consider buying a Switch uh, for my own amusement like that sounds horrible um but you know games for me at this point it's it's stuff for youtube um and just playing games in general is something that if i'm not recording it's not really necessarily worth it for me to do it i have so much other stuff uh going on i will take horror battle on i think that's a, a pretty good purchase for us now we are in a weird spot right now where we have all bone hearts that i'm also trying to get rid of Puts you in a little bit of a, a sticky situation, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I want to be able to get in this room without spending the uh, without spending the charge, but I suppose it is actually possible. Uh, I do have to find the super secret room, which is not going to be anywhere around here. This was the starting room, man. Let's go find the super secret room first. Uh, then we'll teleport into what will be that trapped room, boss trap room. Uh, and then following that, the teleport should take us to the error room. If I am not sorely mistaken, thank you, bum friend, for being worthless. Okay. Are those fires? Or they're probably red poops. Probably red poops. Okay, that takes us into here. I will do this, actually. Uh, and frankly, the spirit hearts are a blessing here. We could teleport out of this. Oh, dude. Big old Goomba man? Is Dingle. Okay, is Dingle. Very interesting. Quite the funky, uh, funky character and animation on that guy. But, uh, now that I have a Switch, it feels a lot better. Uh, and, and I, I realize how good this console actually is. Um, you know, a lot of people talked about how... Dude, th the fact that the error room is Link is so good, dude. It's such a good reference. That's a really good reference. I'm a big fan. Um, but the Switch is actually an insanely good console, and it just, they do a lot of things right on it. Like, everything is very intuitive. The, the games, obviously, are phenomenal. You know, I, playing Mario Maker and Smash, both of them are, you know, top-of-the-line games in the industry right now. And I still, I'm planning on playing uh, Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, uh, both of which I heard are phenomenal in, like, every way. Um... So it's a fun time. I absolutely, you are correct. I, I did come in here and hit this man. Um, I did come in here and hit this man while I was charging my thing. Mom's coin purse. Okay. Bunch of jelly beans for Tyler. Uh, we could get out of here for free right now. Cool. That worked out just fine. Funky room for sure. So karma... Curved horn. I mean, probably going to take that. Uh, very weird room, though. And I'm assuming those are legitimate mushrooms uh, in the game. Can't take that. We know. I'm assuming those are legitimate mushrooms in the game, or else I, I genuinely don't even know what they would be. Wait, we have... How do we get so much damage? Oh, it's Horror Babylon that's just, like, causing us to spiral a little bit right now. Oh, dude, I hate those guys in Mario, and I hate them now here. But, my lord, we are very strong. Just absolutely ridiculously strong. Uh, I'm going to try to swing an arrow room on this floor. But then we might start just... Oh, God, what have I done? Uh, we might start just speed running to heck a little bit. Because uh, we're doing just fine. 
on this run. Just, just absolutely peachy keen fine. For those that don't know, so why would I take Cursed Eye? Uh, Hemalacria is long charge, you know, long wait in between shots for a mediocre damage burst. In my opinion, you know, Hemalacria is not very good as an item. Uh, Cursed Eye is one of those items that makes Hemalacria significantly better because it introduces the ability... You know what, I'll buy it. Bogo Bombs is fine. Joker is also, like, really good. Do that immediately. Joker. Any good stuff here? Spirit Hearts, love to see them. Range down, sucks a little. Paralysis, I inconsequential at the current state. Take your Yara Rune. You know what? Pop the Yara Rune. You got a free card. Card is two of clubs. You can pop that. You can take another one, pop that. Hill is retro vision. It, it, it's too retro already. This is a uh, crawl space? Okay. Fair enough. Retro vision makes everything even more retro, dude. It's, I feel like I'm uh, squinting my eyes. I'm at an eye doctor and they're going, oh, can you see this? Any better? E even better? Like, my lord. But uh, basically with Cursed Eye Hamalacria, uh, you're now firing multiple Hamalacrias that are doing significantly more damage in way less time as well, uh, which makes it in fact, pretty good. Uh, not even, you know, better than normal Hamalacria. It definitely makes it better, but it actually makes it a good item. Um, and Cursed Eye itself is a good item. You know, many people don't like Cursed Eye uh, because of the teleport, but they don't realize that you're in control of the teleport. Um, thank you for coming to my birthday party. I'm one minute old today. And my minutes been going great. Steam sales lit as well here. Um, still, oh, dude, we found everything. Just go. You're you're in air room. Fantastic. Free item is was that Monstro's? No, it was Mom's eye. Okay, that's fine. Blow, blow up the air room, man. What could go wrong? Okay, head on down. Let let's start to move fast. I could consider trying to get to boss rush to see. Oh, dude, this floor. Thank you for the follow, whoever just followed on Twitch. Probably should turn that off, huh? Oh, dude, we're back to having hearts again. Meaning that we just, I think... No, we have bloodlust. That's what's giving us the insane damage, dude. I think? Question mark? I, honestly, at this point, I've, I've got no freaking clue. Um, our damage is really good, is all that I'll say. These guys are a little... They're a bit strange. The, the texture on them seems a little, a little off <laughs> at the current moment, but that's, look, that's okay. I can't pick up the mushroom. I know that many of you are going to bug me. Well, Tyler, you should pick up the mushroom. Have you ever played Mario before, you stupid? Can't pick up the mushroom, chat. Uh, I want to get rid of the, oh, the button's, button's great. Button's great. Uh, I want to get rid of my bone hearts. However... We have the issue of there are a lot of, that was a card, there are a lot of uh, spirit hearts in between our, stop, in between our bone hearts and our not bone hearts. That lucky penny was not, uh, I did just realize that lucky penny was not um, textured, so there was a regular penny and then a lucky penny right next to each other. Pretty good. But anyway, cursed eye. I've gotten off topic about 400 times over in this one. Uh, you only teleport when you are charging your cursed eye and get hit. Uh, so that means that you can essentially kind of control when you teleport, which makes the item significantly better because now you can basically teleport out of situations you don't want to be in uh, at the kind of uh, at the risk of one heart, more, more one half a heart, more or less. Uh, and that that's much, much better. For your run um to have that now it does require you to you know be careful about when you're when you're shooting and when you're charging and stuff like that and having a having a longer charge curse eye which is what we have right now is not as uh beneficial really uh you know that, that's one downside to the hamalacria play that we have here but that's okay. I'm still willing to make it work. And as you can see, I mean, it's 
is pretty good. Now, we also started with 12 items on the run. If we were doing crappy, I would be more alarmed, to be honest. We could get a double steam sale. We didn't, but we could have. And that's... That is a bombed boy. Thank you. Bum friend, take it all, dude. Take it all. It, yeah, thank you. The bombs, they're completely worthless. You're a piece of crap, bum friend. But you know what? You tried your damnedest. That's good enough for me. Why are you... It's punching bag. That's who friggin' Toadsworth is. I couldn't figure that out. It's punching bag, man. And now you got a little piranha plant in there. You can't take that, so don't bother. It's Crampo, except it said Campus, which is uh, the university version of Krampus, I guess. Okay, teleport out. That's our super secret room. Fair enough. Teleport. That's this room. We'll do it. I'm not a baby. It's King Boo. Absolutely phenomenal. Really good theming. Very, very good theming. Big fan. Big fan. Ah, Fistula, my favorite uh, Mario character. <laughs> Alright, that's the spike chest. Uh, we got battery charges out the ass pretty much everywhere. I know I said we weren't going to go to a... Uh, we weren't going to go to an error room on this floor. We were going to start just trying to move, but we might as well, right? You know, I'm not a little baby. I... I'll do what the people want. The people like the error rooms. I'll go to the dang error rooms. Okay. It's, it's a beefy error room, man. Very beefy error room. A lot of keys. A lot of bombs. The the spirit hearts having uh, eyes is still creeping me out a little bit. But that's petrified poop. I don't care. Uh, it's neither here nor there. It's, it's good. It's real good. We continue on. We don't know where the heck we are, dude. It, it appears like we're in, like, approaching Bowser's Castle kind of scenario. I'm interested to... Oh, honestly, not the end of the world. You teleported me closer to the boss fight, so... See how much I care, you jokers. Speaking of Joker, new Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix looks phenomenal. Uh... I didn't really think that they should ever have another movie with the Joker, at least for... Another, like, 15 years after Heath Ledger died. But, uh, Joaquin Phoenix looks incredible as the Joker. And he's got the laugh. He's got, like, everything going on uh, in that movie. It got a 9.8 out of 10 on IMDb, which is, like, ludicrous for those that know anything about rating movies and how IMDb rates movies. Now, don't get me wrong. IMDb is not exactly, uh, that is dead cat. IMDb is not exactly uh, cream of the crop when it comes to movie ratings. You know, there there are there are times where their ratings are are very off, but um, for the most part, you, you can trust IMDb. Like they did give the Emoji Movie like a two point four out of ten or something like that. You know, normally Rotten Tomatoes is the one you want to trust, and I don't think Rotten Tomatoes is judged. Um, I just realized we are going in pretty much as far of the wrong direction as humanly possible but thank god for secret rooms my dude works out please do not hit my boy the bomb um uh, basically what i'm saying the, the, the new movie looks really good now there is something to be said for you know the joker as a character is not exactly he's not exactly a good person at all um and it's the same issue I had with the, the Hugh Jackman movie, The Greatest Showman, uh, the musical. The movie itself, look, the movie itself is subpar. I, I'm just going to throw it out there. It's subpar, and people are going to disagree with me, uh, but that movie is subpar. Uh, what makes it good is the music, and the music is phenomenal, and Hugh Jackman is phenomenal in it. But P.T. Barnum is like a terrible human being, like horrible human being, and they don't paint him as a horrible human being inside that movie. Uh, they kind of paint it as a rewriting history to make P.T. Barnum into this, you know, sad fellow who doesn't, like, deceive the entire world and treat everyone in the, uh, circus as terrible human beings kind of thing. Um, you know, don't shoot the messenger, but that strikes me as you're an asshole, if that's your case, and you should not, uh, you should not have an entire movie written about you that paints you as a good person, if you're an asshole. Um... 
but where am I going with this? Yeah, I mean, the Joker, the movie is basically painting the Joker. Oh, and I, I say this hopefully. I'm saying that I hope this isn't the case. But I hope they don't paint him as a sob story for the Joker. And make it where you feel, you know, super sorry for him. And then you're happy when he starts killing everybody. Because, like, he's obviously going to kill people. The movie's rated R. Like, it's going to be a good Joker in the end. And the Joker is definitely an R-rated character. It's like you can't make Deadpool a PG movie. Or PG-13. You know, if Deadpool's not going around slicing people's necks off and, you know... Wow, really close boss room. Uh, slicing people's heads off and, you know, shouting F-bombs is not a good... Wow, Mom was not Bowser. That's massively surprising. I kind of want to go to S.H.I.E.L.D. because I feel like there's a greater chance of S.H.I.E.L.D. being um, Bowser here. But let's at least go for it and see. I can see forever. Completely worthless, more or less. Uh, boss Rush, what do you got? Bad, good, good, okay. I think I will take Rotten Baby. And the entire world is going to scream at me. They're going to go, Tyler, Tech Point 5 is so much better than Rotten Baby. Yeah, except like... It's, it's not, though, like, it's fine, but it's not the greatest thing in human history. And the flies are doing, you know, like, 24 damage a pop and coming out repeatedly. And I'm just going to leave anyway because I'm going to teleport out. I kind of forgot about that uh, aspect of the entire charade. You, you get the, the point here. But anyway, looking forward to the Joker movie. Uh, just afraid it's going to be... Uh, not quite what I expect from the Joker. Not that it's a bad thing. You know, I, I don't rule the opinions of the universe. In fact, I mean, one would argue that all of my opinions are terrible. Um, it's not just one that would argue it. It's like a lot of people that would argue that. Um, what the hell are these? I mean, I understand what they are in Isaac, but I have never seen those a day in my life in Mario. And they're also, like, frightening. Okay, take this. The double teleport 2.0 is something straight out of hell. I'm with it, though. Night light. How many times are we going to get this room, dude? Cricket's head? Can't win them all, right? Okay, uh, let's head down to the womb. We took the negative, so just, just keep that in mind. Pardon me? Am I not allowed to go into the hole? Thank you. Okay, so what, what do we got? Oh my god, it's, it's bright as heck, dude. Yub's belly. We're in Yub's belly, my dude. <laughs> Yub's belly. So I'm assuming Yub is mom. I mean, it makes sense when you do it like that. Uh, I do like the, the little spinal cords are, uh, are piranha plants. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Toad is the beggar. I mean, I'm Toad as well, but that's neither here nor there. It's a well-done mod, dude. I mean, it really is a, is a well-done reskin uh, of Isaac. And normally, these reskinning mods, you, you gotta really put some effort into them for me to like them. Um, but the two that I, I stand by that are very, very good, this one is very, very good and well-made. And the Undertale one is really, really, like, even better than this one, uh, well-made. That one, it literally... You could fool me that I accidentally loaded Undertale instead. Like, it's, it's very, very, very well done. I wish that this one had, and I don't know if it does, and we just didn't find any. Uh, I wish that it made its own items as well. I think that'd be fun. Best touch, dude. These are gonna, so it's now piercing uh, Hamalacria shots, which is really good. I can't see my HP, but we know we have nine lives. So I am not going to be concerned yet. The piercing Hamalacria is disgustingly good. Uh, you are going to see us begin to annihilate rooms. Uh, and I mean that in the kindest way possible. There's a part of me that actually wants to... What the hell? Uh, there's a part of me that wants to just kill myself in... In, like, entirety. Get the benefit from the... Uh, Get the benefit from the brittle bones and then respawn. It seems like a weak play, to be honest. 
But uh, it then put us into a spot where we'd be closer to getting Horror Babylon back active, which I think is somewhat vital to our success. I got to think about it. I mean, I will absolutely spend all of my HP possible. I can't believe I managed to lock a guy in there. Uh, I will spend all of my HP possible on curse rooms, devil deals, stuff like that. I mean, we're, we're another guppy item in now. Dude, guppy's paw could give us what we need here. So what you want to do is... Okay, there's four battle on meaning you got one more beautiful. You die, you spawn back in here. You grab this, boom. Grab this, teleport out. And you're going, I never knew Tyler was such a friggin' genius. But here we are. So we got three hearts now, uh, no bone hearts. I mean, we actually did not get a single tears up from that entire charade. We're already probably at the... Uh, regular tier rate cap i mean we're definitely at the regular tier rate cap not tier to lay down uh or tier to lay up or whatever it is uh cap but just regular tier stat cap um with hemolacria it does increase it a decent amount so it lives not being textured it's irritating a little bit but that's okay i will do hush i'm not a little baby we have three hp but like what could go wrong right what could go wrong is just the hardest fight in the game what could go wrong? Okay, you don't want that. You, you take the... Oh, it's Eve's bird foot. Is Wario's sack, which once I said that out loud, didn't seem too, too good. But forget me now, dude. I will absolutely pop the forget me now on this floor. And get two more free items and likely even more from the shop here. Yeah, I mean, those are bad. So let's forget me now. We lose teleport 2.0, but let's be real. It's not the end of the world. And then we'll snag more stuff here. I don't know what that is either. It looks like some kind of penny. Uh, that's magic mush. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's really good. This is a tinted rock. Okay. I will take smart fly. Now, we did lose... Uh, we did lose our... Judgment. Just bomb him. Uh, we did lose our... Uh, Guppy. Wow, health up actually like sucks here, but that's that's okay. Dump dump the rest of your money into here. Uh, you know what? Buy another card. It's the lovers. It's like literally the exact opposite of what we wanted, but that's okay. Money goes into there. You get smacked. Five more cents that I can't do crap with. You can look for a crawl space in here. It's a little bit of a crapshoot. But you got one, dude. Okay. Fair enough. Not a black market. It's a toxic mushroom. What do you think it is? Ipecac? Oh, no. Okay. Well, this just got weird. We have Pyromaniac from the beginning, dude. Oh, this is this is disgusting. Uh, say goodbye to the run. And also your eardrums. But say goodbye to the run. Because it's going to be... Real hot. Everywhere is gonna be hot. This is uh this is disgustingly good. We're rocking 80 damage right now, and that's without horror bad one and without getting hit from uh from bloody lust on this floor. I mean Ipecac is a plus 60 damage up. It it'll do some damage, dude. It'll do some damage. Having a good time with this right now. I, I'm upset that Hush was not something a little bit more exciting. Um, but that's okay. If I can swing getting to Mega Satan, I will do Mega Satan as well. But I... Uh, we're kind of past our prime on getting the key pieces. Unless I find a self-sacrifice room on the Cathedral. And then even then, uh, it's a little bit... Oh, we're not even going to the Cathedral. It would have to be a self-sacrifice room in Shield. Which is a little... Unlikely, I guess, is the best way of me putting it. Also, big shout out to if, uh, to Incubus. I talked some smack on him early on this run, but uh, he ended up being really, really good since he's firing the Cursed Eye uh, barrages all at once. Cursed Eye Incubus is another really, really good Cursed Eye synergy. Uh, we basically we just can't get hit while charging, or else our life is. 
severely over. And we will cry. Because <laughs> I don't want to do the hush fight all over again, dude. And we're like, we're basically in the clear. As long as I ho just hold down, we're in the clear. Because Incubus will just kill everything for us. So we don't really need to do much. You're dead. I don't think we have the Eden's Blessing mod turned on. We don't. Head down to shield. Okay. Please be Bowser's Castle themed. It is. Bowser's Fortress. Very cool. I'm hoping that we fight Bowser as the boss. Either here or on the next floor. Uh, I won't be picky. As a double Steam sale now. Um, more like Nintendo eShop sale. Am I right? <laughs> there is a self-sacrifice room. Let's do it, dude. I will absolutely go for uh, Mega Satan and the key pieces on this run. I mean, let's be fair. This is just increasing our damage more. Oh, dude. I will 100% take uh, Angelic Prism on this run. Angelic Prism is a super duper dumb item with this. I did just realize the issues here. I currently do not have a way to kill the angel that comes out of that. Okay. We're going to need a spear it heart. But once we get that. Oh my god. It's a lot of lot of flinging stuff all over the place, dude. A lot of flinging. Spirit heart. Okay, let's go fight the angel. It's actually not going to be the angel. It's going to be the next one, which could be like seven soul hearts. Yeah. Fantastic life. This will be the angel, uh, which will give us key piece number two. Beautiful. I'm not going to teleport to the dark room, even though we totally could. Um, why would we, right? We, we might as well see what the boss is on this floor. If it is Satan, then it's Satan. But I still, I would really like to fight Bowser uh, on this run. And if Bowser is indeed the final boss on this floor, uh, then, you know, survey says we have to, we have to go to the end of this floor. I like when they retheme, even the standard enemies being rethemed, I don't care as much about but when the bosses are rethemed and get like actual boss animations, it adds so much to the mod, dude. It, it really, really does. Like the bullet bills here, they're sick in every way. This is also my third crawl space of the run. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna be real. Forever Alone is a great item, okay? I I genuinely in no way, shape, or form need to go get it right now. Just like that spirit heart, in no way, shape, or form do I need to go get it. That room. I'm just going to say that I saw the, the Matrix open up for me. Because I'm just kind of moving at the speed of light. This is Bowser, by the way. It's, okay, it's uh, big old Koopa. Now it's Bowser. Okay, very cool. Very cool. And then Bowser's feet. No, it's still goat hooves, but neither here nor there. Uh, we head down to the chest. Okay, and by chest, I mean dark room, but same thing, right? So where, where the heck, Luigi's Dreams. Okay, sure. Fine by me, man. Wait, what do I know, really? Cool. So we're going to go find the lamb, and then we will obviously uh, go fight Mega Satan. And just see what the heck is crack a with him. This is one of those runs where you're like super duper unstoppable on um Himalakria, Ipecac, Pyromaniac we would be dead as heck if I didn't have Pyromaniac like I can't even get through doors I'm hitting myself so much um but tis the beauty of the of Isaac series dude sometimes you just get synergies that are uh quite the good time please tell me I'm fighting Luigi I just realized that if we're in Luigi's dreams have me fight Luigi it's the lamb I weak oh my Lag spike from heck. Dude, do you see the face in the background? It's going to be at the top of the screen here. No, I would not like to do a victory lap. What is this face, though? Is that my boy, Luigi? It's the worst thing I've ever seen. It's definitely Luigi? No, that's Donald Duck. What the hell is that? Okay. Um, look, I'm not going to question what goes on in Luigi's dreams. But it's uh, it's a little weird. It's a little weird, Ouija. A little weird, dude. Okay. 
Let's hope that Mega Satan is textured. That would really be a nice uh, surprise on the end of the day. It's Mega Satan, but it is Bowser, dude. It is definitely Bowser. Well, look at how cool he is, dude. Yo, super sick. A plus. I mean, we're going to kill him before he does basically jack all to us. But it really does fit in well with the, the fire and all that that Bowser does. Like, do some fire. Dude, I don't want you to do some fire, Bowser. I think it'd be really cool. Shout some fire at me. I mean, you just spawned more ads. You can't get out of here. Do you come back as Giga Bowser? I mean, you come back as Frightening Bowser. I'll give you that. All right. Hey, it's been real. It's been fun. Um, but it's been... It's been, uh, it's been actually real fun. I had a good time. You know what? For the meme. Let's do it. We're, we're gonna basically breeze through the floor anyway, right? We might as well. I don't know where I'm going. I haven't done this floor. Oh my god, what the hell floor is this? This might, might have been the chest in the end. Uh, I haven't done the void floor in probably like three months. Because I hate it. But it's a 10 out of 10 video. Why not end it going as far as we can? And I, I mainly just want to see if, like, Delirium is Mario himself. <laughs> Back from the dead. Because, I mean, I don't know. Did Mario die? Probably not. God knows when I'm playing Mario and Smash, it dies a lot. But neither here nor there. All right, be Mario. <laughs> Dude, what a great name for a boss. Fantastic. 10 out of friggin' 10. <laughs> Fantastic way to end. Oh, I just teleported myself. Dude, this is gonna be an absolute nightmare. I, I got a long way to go to get back. I kind of forgot we had Cursed Eye. Okay, so I mean, it's not textured uh, to be anybody in particular. Unless you consider... Um, crappy, unoriginal boss to be... To be a unique Mario character is <laughs> really good, though. Who would I have wanted to see as the final boss? Honestly, it would have been hysterical if it was like Sonic, Dr. Eggman, something like that. Kirby as the final boss. I could see Delirium art as Kirby. That, that's some... Oh, my God, dude. That's some good... Uh, that's some good Alexa fan art that you can go put in the r slash Alexa... Um, Reddit, Mega Satan as Kirby. I give you full permission. Really, I just want any art in there possible and memes. Any memes possible as well. They're all good. I appreciate all of them. Okay, Delirium, take two. And by take two, I mean like take seven. I'm just going to kill you with Incubus. Right? It's going to be easier. You don't got that much health, Delirium. You don't got armor scaling. Which makes you like eight times easier to begin with. Holy crap. When his shots hit Angelic Prism, it's it's borderline dumb. Alright. He's about half dead. He's coming down. He's coming down. That was a lot of damage on him. He's like a fourth of... Yeah, two-thirds of the way dead. I fired. Get me out of here. Okay. We're in the final phase where Delirium just starts going friggin' haywire, man. I only have one heart, too. That's the even worse part. Okay. Speaking of heart, thank you. Delirium! Save me, Delirium. And also, San Francisco. He's, he's, he's dead, dude. He's dead. Okay. Uh, it was a fun run. Very fun run. Very fun of Isaac episode. Once again, I encourage all of you to go and check out uh, my Mario Maker series coming to the channel here today. It's going to be a very good time, and please check out the Binding of Mario mod over on the Steam Workshop. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. 
as for me, thank you so much for watching. I'll check you guys out in the next video. You have a good day. Goodbye.